Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Dave Madden, Market Analyst here at CMC Markets. Today's date is Wednesday the 25th of April 2018 and the time has, is coming up to 12.40 BST, British Summer Time. This week's Chart of the Week is the Eurostox 50, or as we call it here on the CMC Markets trading platform, the Euro 50. And as, as, as always, we are looking at the cash market. Now, the Eurostox 50, like other global indices, had a major sell-off uh, in, in January of this year. So you can see here, uh, it had a fairly decent start to 2018 in January. Both, like, like many global indices, had a fairly sizable sell-off, uh, which, which started in January and kind of uh, ran, ran, its, ran, ran its course in February. But uh, from, from kind of mid-February until the middle of March, we did see trading relatively range-bound. But for the last month or so, from late March until now, the market has been in a fairly steady upward, upward trend. I actually managed, managed, managed to create a multi-month high only yesterday. But the fact that we've turned lower yesterday and again today isn't an enormous surprise because if you look at the MACD in histogram, the MACD indicator, you can see while the market was pushing higher here uh, in, late, in late March and throughout April, we can see that there was a steady increase in positive momentum. But in the last few days, we noticed how the market, the actual market itself, was pushing higher and creating fresh multi multi week and multi month highs, whereas the actual MACD indicator was actually in slight decline. So when you have that, when the market is creating higher highs, but the MACD indicator is not creating higher highs, you're, you're, you're seeing lower highs, there's a divergence between the two. And it's the case that the buyers are running out of steam. Not to say that it, we're going to enter, immediately enter a downward trend. It's just that there is the very um, the momentum or the the bullishness that the buyers have tends to be running out of steam. So what we could see is we could see the market drift a bit lower before potentially moving higher here uh, from here. Seeing as we have been in an upward trend for a month, it's a possibility we could see the market drift a bit lower from here before potentially continuing the wider upward trend that has been in for the past four weeks. You notice these uh, dotted lines that I have on the screen here, and this is the Fibonacci retracement um, levels. Now, for those of you who don't, who don't know about Fibonacci retracement, uh, it's essentially a theory uh, which states that after a significant market move, the market will recoup or retrace a certain uh, percentages of the previous move. Now, the Fibonacci retracement theory has a certain particular um, um, particular um, retracement levels in mind, such as 23.6, 38.2, 50%, and 61.8%. So all these dotted lines here are those uh, retracement levels. And of course, if it was to fully retrace the move, it would be a 100% retracement. Now, when you apply the Fibonacci um, resistance, the uh, Fibonacci retracement theory to this chart, which can be found here under drawing tools, you can see it here, Fibonacci. When you place it to, the, to this chart, going from the high of 2018, high in January, to the low in February, you can see that on the 50% retracement level, there's a number of occasions when the 50% level, at which comes into play at 3,453, acted as both support and resistance on a number of occasions. Now, if it's acted as, as both support and resistance in the past, it's likely, it's more likely to do so again in the future. But we can also notice that when the market was running out of steam uh, and um, and just before it turned over on itself, it just went, went north of the 61.8% retracement level, which actually coincides with this red line here, which is the 200-day moving average. So when you've got a couple of indicators um, converging, it could, it could suggest that the market is in an upward trend over the last month, but because it reached a 61.8% retracement level, some of the some of the, uh, the buyers are getting out, or perhaps some of the some of the buyers are getting out after it didn't have the, it didn't have the momentum or the steam to kind of go beyond the 200-day moving average. So in the near term, it's possible that we could see the market drift a little lower. As I was saying, the MACD indicator is pointing to a, a cooling of, of buying momentum, but this area will, will be significant if you could take out the recent high. Uh, which is only created yesterday, and that, that comes into play at th 3,523. We can take off that, it, could, it, would be quite, could be, it could be quite significant. And if we go north of that, the next big psychological number to keep an eye out for to the upside would be 3,600. And if we go beyond that, uh, the, the, the February high of 3,636. And then if we go beyond that, we could be looking at the, the, the January high of 3,689 3, and of course if you take all that 
we could be looking at at the all-time high up towards 3,709. If you do drift lower, where could you potentially find support? Well, we may find some support from the 50% retracement level, which comes into play at 3,453. Like I mentioned, we saw a lot of consolidation of that uh, in the middle of April, and there's a few occasions where that level acts as both support and resistance in February and March. So there's a possibility that that, that area may act as support in the near term. Should, should we drift south of that level, though, we may have find support also coming into play on this blue line here, the 50-day moving average, which comes into play at 3,408. Notice how it acted as both support and resistance uh, earlier this month, so it's possible it may act as a support in the near term. But should we go south of there and we take out um, the, the, uh, the early February low of 3,300, uh, sorry, 3,366, then we could be looking heading back down towards the early February low of 3,300. And if we go south of that, we could be looking at uh, retesting the February low, which comes into play at 3,217. Well, that's all for me this week. Thank you very much.